So that was how the opening day of the 2022 Commonwealth Games in Birmingham went for Ghana displaying their rich culture and especially our rich tradition when it comes to our attire and what we wear. But well, the Commonwealth Games has not been fair to Ghana at all. Well, in the second day, Ghana recorded some defeats in hockey where Ghana's female hockey team were defeated by India by five goals to zero. Then later on, the men's hockey team also lost by 6-0. Then later on in boxing, one of Ghana's female boxers lost her bout as well. And well, unfortunately, one Ghanaian has been suspended from the games after testing positive for doping. Well, I have all these updates coming up here on Sports Update Ghana. Do what subscribe, like, share, and don't forget to leave a comment. So quickly let's get into it and Ghanaian boxer Jesse Lati was the first to participate at this year's 2022 Commonwealth Games and Birmingham well he progressed to the next round after not boxing well he didn't box his way to the next round of the competition because his opponent failed to show up and he drew by that means he got a free pass to go to to the next round of the men's boxing and well that is a good one for Jesse Lati he'll be coming up in this next fight Jesse Lati was the only athlete or contingent from Ghana who won a medal at the 2018 Commonwealth Games in Australia and he won bronze for Ghana at that event so we are counting on him to win a medal for Ghana at this year's 2022 Commonwealth Games in Birmingham well right after Jesse Lati then came Dr. Onela Satut who is a PhD holder and happens to be the only woman in Ghana's boxing team popularly known as the Black Bombers well Dr. Onela Satut suffered a defeat to England boxer that is Kerry Davis in their middleweight contest where Onela Satut started the bout very well but unfortunately she didn't impress in the latter rounds making Kerry Davis come from behind to win the bout by three two on point and well for Onela Satut she won the first two bouts but the latter rounds of the bout did not go down well for her and she had this to say after her bout. This is the nature of the fight I should have pushed harder. Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, I, want to I was trying to be more strategic and less wild, but I think I should have kept that energy up of focusing on throwing more and stop trying to be too perfect. Yeah. We know you're disappointed, but. Uh... So that was Dr. Onela Satut. Her campaign at the 2022 Commonwealth Games comes to an end. But moving on, Ghana also participated in swimming, and Ghanaian experienced swimmer that is Abeku Jackson was in action in the swimming contest for the men's 50 meter butterfly event and unfortunately Abiku Jackson was unable to progress to the next round of the men's 50 meter butterfly event and well Abiku Jackson came sixth in the heat and only 16 swimmers were needed to make it to the next round of the 2022 Commonwealth Games men's 50 meter butterfly event and Abiku Jackson after his um, time was checked, well, he came 17th, and as I said before, only 16 swimmers were needed. So, Abiku Jackson failing to progress to the next round of the men's 50 meter butterfly event. Well, the next swimmer was Forsen, and Miss Forsen also was unable to progress from the preliminary heats but her time was not also good enough to take her through to the final of the women's 200 meter freestyle so, so another swimmer who was in action for ghana was 17 year old nila stitchy who finished fourth in the women's 50 meter breaststroke but failed to progress to the final of the event so unila stitchy is also a swimmer for ghana so three swimmers failing to progress to the next round of the swimming competition over there so in hockey that was where ghana suffered the most defeats ghana suffered the most defeats in hockey because ghana's black sticks ladies who are the women's national team of ghana's hockey team suffered a 5 0 defeat to india over there in that particular match that was played on friday they were the first to play 
in hockey and well they lost by five goals to zero to india and india scored their first goal from a corner penalty if you understand hockey you will understand these terms and they scored their first goal rather than in the second goal ghana scored an own goal and then later on ghana considered another goal then the fifth goal ghana scored another own goal so we scored two own goals in that particular match against india well we are in the same group with canada england and well we are supposed to face these three countries canada england and one other country so ghana has lost their first game to india over there well we still have hope of progressing maybe if we can beat england and canada in our group it's not something i foresee happening well the men's hockey team also suffered a 6-0 defeat to england in the opening game of the men's hockey and well it's not going well for ghana at all in hockey because well 6-0 to the men's team and 5-0 to the women's team well that's not good at all and now to tennis though and nigeria beats ghana in three straight sets in the men's table tennis event ghana face south africa on saturday that is today in the second group two match well we're looking forward to see abrifa help ghana to the next round of the men's table tennis event at the 2022 commonwealth games in birmingham and before we go in boxing and ghanaian boxer that is why omar was able to qualify for the round of 16 in the men's light welterweight event after defeating jamie divine by 4-1 on points to qualify for the next round of the light welterweight event and he was very impressive the season campaigner that is wahid is seen as one of ghana's hope of winning a medal at this year's commonwealth games in birmingham but before i go let's talk about that is shaku samir the brother of the samir brothers that is basti samir who has been suspended from the 2022 commonwealth games in birmingham after testing positive for doping well the ghanaian light heavyweight boxer was unable to fight his bout which was scheduled to take place yesterday against a mauritius opponent in their light heavyweight contest because the ghanaian boxer had tested positive for a doping content and well this was what a report said so it said the commonwealth games federation anti doping and medical commission has confirmed that the sample of shaku samed a boxer from ghana violated anti-doping rules for the 2022 commonwealth games samed has the unfortunate honor of becoming the first athlete at this year's games to fail a doping test his sample a was found to contain a prohibited substance and well he has therefore been suspended with immediate effect he and the ghana commonwealth games association have been informed well he will now have the opportunity to provide further information including requesting analysis of sample b before any charge is issued what this means is that shaku samed can request for sample b of his uh, test that he did and if that clear him from it well he could go ahead and participate at this year's common world games in birmingham but further charges are about to come on the ghanaian boxer and it's not good at all so that is about that for the one of ghana's boxing but ghana is expected to participate in other events at the common world games overall we sent about 100 and 50 athletes over there ghana will be participating in cycling we we'll participating in swimming boxing weightlifting power weightlifting among other sporting events so that is about it on day two of the 2022 commonwealth games ghana's wrap